What is going on guys? Six Point Tail Cat here today. Thank you for tuning in to another video. I'm here with my boy D-Rod in the car, riding shotgun with him Let's today. Um, so yesterday I dropped off my car at Bait Polish to go get my wheels powder coated. So uh, we're here the next day, here to pick up the car. I'm definitely excited to see how the car looks. Um, I know when I added tint to the car, such a very small mod, but it made such a huge difference on the car. So I'm sure, you know, having the wheels painted, it's gonna look even more aggressive than it already does. Um, I definitely have a lot of big plans as far as cosmetics go in the very near future. So I'm definitely looking forward to see the car. We're pulling up right now, just got off on our exit. So we will see you guys when we get there. All right, boys, we're pulling up to Bait Polish right now. Oh my God. No, wait, wait. Dude, I will say this car looks absolutely <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> man. It looks completely different. It, it just does. adds so much more aggressiveness to the car. A little sneak peek. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Holy crap. All right, we're gonna go inside, finish up the paperwork. I'll show you guys the car right now. All right, boys, so we just finished up the transaction at Base Polish. You guys wanna check out the car? Here she is. Let me just say it changes up the whole look of the car so we got the black powder coated wheels right here they look absolutely beautiful as you guys can see it looks pretty OEM to me um, the calibers I did not end up painting just yet I still um, deciding what kind of color tone I want to go with to accent the black but I will definitely be changing the calibers very soon hopefully within the next week or two but I mean I just want to admire like <laughs> how the car looks before you know the car did look aggressive but this just makes it look 10 times more aggressive. Just the black is so mean. Definitely need to get the, rid of that white stripe though because I definitely don't like the way that looks. But besides that guys, it's absolutely gorgeous. Huge shout out to Bait Polishes for uh, hooking it up big time. My boy Rush actually recommended them to me since he got his wheels powder coated from them as well. And as you guys can see, they do amazing work. So definitely if you guys have any powder coating needs, any polishing, metal plating, or any styling in general, Bates Polish is the way to go. They're located in Anaheim, California. And I mean, I'm pretty much speechless right now, guys. This car is just adds a whole different look to it. Okay, guys, so the Daytona is back, so we are good to go. We're actually gonna head over to Rush's house, um, just hang out with him, go cruise and do something. But first off, we're gonna go to the car wash since you know my car is black, it's obviously gets dirty extremely easily. So it's really dusty right now. Um, so we're just gonna go to the car wash, wash her down, get her you know nice and clean. Um, obviously, when you clean a black car, it just looks absolutely beautiful for, for, for the first five minutes until you start driving her around and it gets dirty again. But anyways, we're gonna head over to the car wash right now. I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, we brought her to get a wash. Got my boy D-Rod right here. Make her nice and pretty. Not gonna use any of those brushes. I'm honestly just gonna rinse her down with the hose. And that's pretty much it. Honestly, most of it, it's just dust and whatnot, which the hose should take off. I'm definitely not gonna use the brushes or anything. It's gonna ruin the paint. If you guys do use a brush, um, probably not a good idea. I mean, these bristles are not, uh, pretty pretty tough, so they're gonna add some swirls to your paint. So all I'm gonna do is just rinse off the car with the hose right there, and we should be good to go. All right, bro, just don't get me, all right? Hey, ask for a refund. Where, where's the manager? What kind of pressure is that, bro? I get more pressure out of me when I eat Taco Bell. That's soap? That's soap. Get out of here with that, bro. Oh my God. That looks like my freaking piss after I drink White Claws. Oh my God, boys. If you guys, look at this. This is a ripoff, bro. Ask for a refund. Damn, bro, this is like after like round six, this is what you're doing right here. All right, guys, so after a little detailing montage, the Daytona is all clean, looking all shiny. I actually need to ceramic coat this car, do a full paint correction and then ceramic coat it because uh, it's a black car. It's just a, definitely hard to take care of. And uh, once you ceramic coat it on black, it will look absolutely beautiful. The, the black will just be so deep. So uh, car is washed, looks all clean. We're actually gonna go to Rush's house now. D-Rod's right there. Um, let's go ahead and head out. Look at Drud, straight, straight cheesing on the wheels. You like him, bro? <laughs> Alright guys, 
So we just pulled up to Rush's house. Got my boy D right here, side views right over there. As you guys can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm a huge fan of how it turned out. Um, once again, big shout out to Bait Polish for hooking it up big time with the wheels. But that is gonna be the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. Also drop a comment down below. Let me know what videos you guys wanna see in the future. I'm Sick Boy Tailcat. Have a great day, guys. I will see you in the next video. What's up, guys? So it is the next day. I decided not to end the video at Rush's house uh, just because I wanted to give you guys a good angle of the car with the, you know, with the powder coated wheels. So it's right here. Gives a little nice look to the car. Definitely murders out the car for the most part, uh, minus the the white stripe, the Daytona stripe over there. Also, I do have a little bit of dilemma that I'm going through. I'm having a little uh, commitment issues with what I should do with the stripe. So in the very beginning, when I first purchased this car, I was really adamant about removing the white stripe. Now, ever since I've powder coated the the black wheels, I'm switching up. Honestly, I I definitely like the the tone that the white has with the car. In the very beginning, I was completely against it, and Rush told me keep the white stripe, just you know powder coat the wheels black, and also do the white uh, calibers. And to be honest, I couldn't really see the vision that he had with the car. But now that I you know it's slowly you know one step at a time, it's getting there. Um, the white is really growing on me, guys. I'm seriously debating getting uh, my calibers painted white uh, with the Brembo lettering in black just to match the Daytona sticker. Originally, I was planning on doing the, the matte gray. I was doing a, like a matte gray badge or like a matte black and then just filling in the Daytona in yellow and then having my calibers painted in yellow just to match that. So uh, I still, that's definitely a good option, but um, I just want to give you guys a heads up that the uh, <laughs> the white might be staying, but let me know what you guys think about the white. I'm still, you know, a little bit 50-50 on either, whether I should do the white or the yellow, um, you know, calibers. Not really too sure. I'm still debating on whether to do that or not. I will say I'm like a really simple guy. I'm not really big on like, uh, unique colors. I'm more of just like a, you know, black and yellow or black and red, stuff like that. Black and white is kind of weird unless it's actual white and then the black is just a contrast color. Honestly, I might just step out of my comfort zone this time just to see how the car looks. Obviously, if I don't like it, I can always switch it back up. But um, I think I think that's the route that I will be heading. But seriously, guys, uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below because I do plan on uh, powder coating my calibers and switching up the stripe sometime next week. So um, these cosmetic mods are coming really quick, guys. I really plan on making this car dialed in as far as you know uh, the cosmetics go, and then I'll start on the actual performance mods. So I still have to order a rear diffuser. I'm thinking still carbon fiber. Um, I did actually do some measurements, and it's pretty much the exact same thing as the other Hellcat so I, there's really not much to do um, as far as like if there's, there's if there's a difference in the wide body versus the non wide body it's pretty much the same um, the only difference is like you know the wide body fenders go out to here but as far as the actual plastic be go, pe uh, the plastic piece goes it's the exact same thing so oh man I got my hand all dirty just from the exhaust tips so these things are nasty black but uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to installing that, making the car. I definitely think the rear diffuser is going to make the car look a lot more beefy. Also, if you guys didn't notice, uh, my boy D-Rod helped me install. Well, he didn't really help me. He kind of did the whole thing himself. But I just stood there and uh, watched. But we installed the Lux Auto Concepts, the rear taillight tint. So uh, it definitely gives a good little uh, darker murdered out tone to the car. I'm definitely a big fan of it. A lot of you guys, uh, not a lot of you guys, but some of you guys did message me saying, why didn't I um, tint like this part? I, I just like the red standing out. I'm, I'm not too big on like a completely murdered look, just enough to where it looks good. I definitely like the red tail. It's just definitely makes the car stand out just a little bit more. So that's just the route that I'm gonna go with that, you guys. Um, rear diffusers coming sometime within the next week or two. And then, oh crap, also I have to, figure out what I'm gonna do with this white Hellcat badge. I definitely like the white Hellcat badge, don't get me wrong. Um, if I do do the white calibers, it'll make the car perfect. But if I do yellow calibers, I'm not sure how a yellow Hellcat badge will look. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to look into that one as well, see if there's any uh, yellow Hellcat badges out there or if anyone's ever done it before. But I'm, I, that's the beauty and you know curse of having a brand new car is that nobody's really done anything with it. So you're kind of, you know, the, per the first person to do something different with this car, considering it being a wide body and a Daytona at that. Uh, I have seen one bagged cat. He actually bagged his Hellcat, murdered out the headlights and whatnot. That's his own unique twist on the car. And I plan on having a different vision on the car. But anyways, that is gonna be the end of this video, guys. Thank you for staying and watching. Um, I will see you in the next one. Hopefully this will be uh, completely different within the next week. Have a good one, guys.